dreaming. It is the night. What a beautiful day it is. Yes, yes, yes. A lovely blue sky, a lovely sun. Now the difference between a Saint-Viateur bagel and the rest of the bagels in town is that the Saint-Viateur bagel has a proper hole in it and it has a completely different taste because it's just not too big and that is the thing about a good bagel is a bagel it's not too big now here hi I'd just like one poppy please one poppy one poppy But when you eat these, you should not try and cross the American border because if they take a blood test, they will, uh, it has the same effect as, as uh, if you had taken some opium, opium being made from poppies. Hi, we're just doing the neighborhood. Oui, ça va très bien. Merci beaucoup. This is a proper day. Hi. de me virer dingue Je serais pas plus du jour Parce que le soleil veut briller Ah, ma porte en arrière, un de ces jours Like, so this was this a long time ago. Somebody got stabbed, and uh, basically the cops walk in, okay? Like ten of them, right? Everybody's up against the wall in this place. It's five in the morning. The lieutenant walks in. The lieutenant says, to "Everybody says, says, I don't give a shit about pot. I don't give a shit about hash. I don't give a shit about LSD. I don't give a shit about cocaine. I don't give a shit about heroin." So, but somebody stabs somebody in this neighborhood. There's gonna be fucking hell to pay. Do you understand me? So here's all these people with their arms up against the wall. The floor is covered with drugs. You know what I mean? And then they just turned around and walked out. Why? Because they don't want people shaking up the business. Every day, my oh my, what a wonderful day! Got plenty of sunshine coming my way. 
Zappity doo da, zappity day, Mr. Bluebird on your shoulder. Here we go. Yes, sir, Park Avenue, just the loveliest place on earth. A person can really forget about just about anything here. You can eat what you like, you can do what you like, you can live the way that you like, and nobody's really going to bother you. You know why? Because everybody's making some money off of something here. <laughs> Really? Yeah, we're taking over the place. It's called art fascism. Oh, no matter God what you do, God you're, help like, us. you're followed by artists that want to include you in their vision of life. <laughs> it's a beautiful life. Ah. Oh. Here we are, surrounded by literature. Yes, interesting camera. I had a, a big problem with literature for a long time. Whenever I would walk into a bookstore, I would have an incredible urge to have a crap. And I, and I tried to talk about it. With, washrooms, uh, uh, washrooms yeah, yeah. back I, there. No, 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 no. I've, I've managed to like overcome this thing. But, and, and I tried to talk about it with uh, psychologists and uh, yeah, yeah. et cetera. And the, the amount of nitwit uh, theories that I was hit with was absolutely amazing. <laughs> and if, if, uh, if a wolf is in fear, like, I mean, uh, uh, the turds will fly out of his ass at, like, you know, like, just basically, they'll, they'll, they'll go, like, 25, 30 feet. They, like, you know, he just just empties himself up and just gets ready to, 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 to attack, you know? Take what is it that, it. why is it that books do this to me? Why do books, like, create this incredible urge that it's, uh, it's because there's something completely animal about the whole thing. It's just, it, you know, the symbols. How did uh, this urge, how, what stopped it? What stopped it? I don't know. I am like, it, as inexplicably as it appeared, it disappeared. Thank God. <laughs> no, they did. They did for many, many years. Okay, they did. For many, when, when? they controlled the market. When? They controlled the market. Seventies, eighties. Seventies, eighties. Oh yeah, they controlled the pornography market in Montreal. Rather than What am I talking about? Have you ever heard? Of, have you ever heard of the Pompano Yacht Club? Have you ever heard of the Pompano Yacht Club? The Pompano. The Pompano Yacht Club. Now the whole idea here is to create a conspiracy theory when there's uh, actually nothing going on, or is there something going on? Now, the conspiracy theory that you create can be real can be as real as you want it to be, or is it real, or was it really real in the first place? Nobody knew it was real. How dangerous is it, what we're doing today? We'll never know. Yodely doodle doo doo and zibbity dow you poop chuck Oh, here we go.